Welcome to video presentation of our microprocessor and interfacing laboratory term project where we try to build a braille embrosser. Before going to demonstrate the whole project, I would like to show you how the whole system works. In our system, we have two parts, the software and the hardware. So this is the software we are using for our own project. In this software, we will upload any document file and the software will decode the information and will send the information to this microcontroller board where we use a Arduino Mega and this is a TFT module to display the information actually what is going on inside the cartridge this is a Bluetooth module to communicate with this cartridge box in this box we have a Arduino Nano microcontroller board and a slave module to receive the information from the master here we have used six linear actuator to emboss the letter into the page these are two four and six number actuators to emboss two four and six number dot and this actuator will emboss one three and five number dot as you know in braille system each letter can be represented by six dot we have used this DC motor to shift the whole cartridge box after finishing one letter to write and this motor will bring the whole cartridge box to its origin when it finish for one line we have used this motor to shift the page forward now we will go for a short demo of our project welcome to braille printing solution uh, we will upload a short file consist of a single word wet we have to configure the serial port after successfully configuring the port we can able to send information from the PC to this microcontroller now we will start our work as the first letter is B only one and three non actuator will work as you see the first actuator actuator is rotating when it finish the third actuator will start to rotate when it completes this motor will shift the box to right and start the next execution which is U it needs one five the six number dot after completing it the motor will again shift the box then it will go for E which needs one and four non actuator as you see the first actuator is working when it finish for non actuator will start and then the motor will again shift the box and go for T which need these uh, these dots
after that it will shift the box again as it completes the whole line this motor will move the page forward so that it can start for next line so now i am going to remove the paper just to show you actually what we are doing with those actuators if you look closely you will see the dots we are actually making those dots with those actuators for b we need one and three and you see for b here there one and three for you you will find that we need one five and six long dot and for you here five one and six for e we need two dots one and four long and you can see that one and four after that for t we need four dots and here they are thank you very much for watching this video